Alright, so I just thought I'd give everyone a quick update on what we're doing um, over the next couple of months on one of our properties. We are going to be removing some ore from a old adit and we're going to be prospecting the, pro the rest of the property which has a couple adits, a couple open pits, uh, there's about five or six showings and a new showing that we've located. So what I wanted to talk about today is this ore here. This is all removed from inside one of the adits. Uh, we are going to be cleaning this out and hopefully getting stuff that's as good a grade as this. Okay, so there are multiple ore bodies on the property. Uh, one ore body occurs in limestone and tophaceous members. Uh, which is found in a series of folds and overturned folds. Your beds are displaced by a series of thrust faults as well. So you have a calcopyrite ore um, as well, and it's found in calcopyrite bearing scarn, which is developed into contact uh, with your post rock. So you have lenses of calcopyrite um, as well, which occur in a quartz gang, and they're in contact about 100 meters wide. Um, and then you also have garnet epidote actinolite scarns, which are also developed in a limey tuff, limey sediments, and uh, you've got some limestone there too. So right here you can see the small little blackish specks. Those are actually all garnets. And then your material here is your calcopyrite. So you can see this looks a little different than this. This will eventually change to this. This is actually a grab sample and this was laying in the bottom of the mine so this has had time for the oxidization process. You can see there's some malachite staining on this. You got your solid mineral up there. And uh, this is mainly what you'll see inside the adit when you pull it off. These are just some pieces of solid ore and solid mineral that we've pulled out of there. All right, so enough about the geology. Let's take a look at some of the ore. You can see more calcopyrite. You got a bit of magnetite in there. You can see this piece here, it does have some boronite in there as well, down in there, but this is still mainly calcopyrite, and you also have a little bit of sphalerite in there as well. More calcopyrite and magnetite. Some nice looking color there. So your solid mineral here uh, inside the added is going to be running at about 10 to 15 percent copper and then there's going to be 10 to 20 grams per ton of silver and you're going to have equal that in gold as well. You can see there's more garnets in there. More up there. So we are going to be doing uh, prospecting on the entire property. We're going to be removing some samples from all of the showings as well. We're not just going to be removing stuff from one at it. We're going to be testing some of the others. So I sh thought I'd show this as well. This right here uh, just looks like an ordinary rock. This is about 40 pounds and this is actually solid mineral. We actually found this inside one of the adits. So it was just uh, just laying there and I actually tripped over it. Uh, 
Anyway, uh, just thought I'd give everyone an update on what we're doing. And I hope you enjoyed this short little video. There's going to be lots more to come on this property. And uh, we hope to take you all along. Thanks for watching and have a good day everyone.